Leads or referrals? What's the difference? Find out right now. Welcome to the Grow Your Business Podcast. Actionable tips and advice on digital marketing, organized networking, and referral marketing to help grow your business. Hosted by award-winning Remax agent, Bo Kaufman. You might have heard people talking and using terms like leads or referrals. What's the difference? Is there a difference? And if so, which one is better? Well, let's take a look at an example of a lead. A lead involves only two people, the person supplying the information and the service provider receiving it. So let's do a little role play uh, just to set an example. In this, let's say I'm the real estate agent and my buddy Rob White of Urban Top Coat is going to play the painter. Well, that's, that's because that's what he does. He's a painting company in Winnipeg. So he's going to give me a call uh, thinking he's doing me a favor. So let's see how that goes. Hey, Bo. Just finished painting this house and I uh, overheard the owner was saying they were thinking of selling it soon. Hey, Rob, that's fantastic. Do they, uh, do they have an agent? I don't know. I never really asked them. Oh, okay. No problem. Can you uh, send me their name and number? Okay, but uh, don't tell them I told you. Okay. Um, I guess I'll check their, uh, their name on the do not call me list to make sure that I can call them or maybe I'll just drop by and say hi. But thanks. Thanks for the info. So what we just heard is a lead. It's not a referral. Uh, It does not involve the client or the customer at all. It's well-intentioned, but my services have not been promoted or recommended in any way. This really is just one step better than a cold call. To elevate this from a lead to a referral, we just simply need to involve the customer. And this is how that would go. Hey, I overheard you um, talking about that uh, you were going to sell your home. Do you have an agent? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, do you know somebody I could use? My uh, friend Bo Kaufman at Remax is a pretty top agent. He really goes out of his way to market his listings. He's always available to take your calls. Can I get him to call you? Yeah, for sure. Uh, that sounds great, Rob. Thanks. So you can see in this example that the customer is fully involved. She's given permission to be contacted. And in fact, she's looking forward to receiving the call. The referral giver has warmed up the customer and the service provider will have a much easier time closing that deal. In fact, I would much rather receive one good referral than three leads. The more effort that the referral giver spends on this, the higher the closing rate. So if Rob the painter was to spend just a couple of minutes talking about the benefits of working with me as their agent, it's gonna make closing it even simpler. So a referral definitely involves work on the behalf of the person making the referral, And the more work and effort they do, the easier it is for the service provider to close the deal. In an upcoming episode, I'm going to talk about how you can create your own small but powerful referral network. In the meantime, check your local area for chapters of BNI. That's Business Network International. They are a true referral networking group. This is not a leads club. So what they count is referrals, and that's what they encourage, and that's what they teach and train, and all members know what a referral is. With over 8,000 chapters worldwide, you're sure to find a BNI chapter near you. In Winnipeg, for example, we have seven active chapters, with the BNI accelerators being the largest and most productive one. In Winnipeg, check out businessnetworkingwinnipeg.com for more information. So I want to take this opportunity to thank my buddy Rob White of Urban Top Coat Painting. He is more than just a great voice on the radio. His uh, painting company is Triple B Accredited. Uh, He's got tons and tons of great reviews on Better Business Bureau and Google. He's helped me out. He's helped my clients out many times. And I can highly and I do highly recommend them. So if you're looking for a painter inside and out, houses, residential, condos, and uh, commercial, industrial, uh, call Rob White of Urban Top Coat Painting. Uh, go to his website at urbantopcoat.com and the direct link will be in the show notes. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Grow Your Business with Bo Kaufman of Remax in Winnipeg. Please subscribe to the podcast and if you're looking to buy or sell a house or a condo in Winnipeg, call or text Bo at 204-333-2202 because Bo knows real estate. To this channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified of any new information we post. If you like listening to audio podcasts, 
please check for Bo Knows Real Estate on all major podcast players. And if you're looking to buy or sell house or a condo in Winnipeg, please call or text me anytime at 204-333-2202. This has been Bo Kaufman of Remax Performance Realty. Till next time, bye-bye.